Hi everyone, Benetti here, and today I am excited to walk you through the installation process for Autodesk Revit 2025. Whether you are setting it up for the first time or updating from a previous version, I will guide you step by step to ensure everything goes smoothly. We will cover system requirements, where to download the software and how to navigate the setup. So let's dive right in and get your system ready for Revit 2025. Preparation before installation. Before jump into the actual installation of Revit 2025, it's crucial to make sh sure what our system are ready to handle uh, the software. Let's take these next two minutes to walk through the necessary preparations. First, you will need to check the system requirements for Revit 2025. Autodesk regularly updates these requirements to ensure optimal performance and compatibility. You can find this information by typing Revit 2025 system requirements into your preferred search engine and opening the official Autodesk link, look for minimum and recommended system specifications, which include operating system, CPU type, RAM, graphic hardware, and importantly, ensure what the Microsoft Net 8 platform is installed. This is essential as Revit 2025 depends on it for various functionalities. Next, ensure what you Windows operating system is up to date. This helps in reducing compatibility issues with new software. If you use Windows 10 or 11, you can click the Start button and type in the search field Windows Update. Process to check your updates and install any available ones to keep your system current. Also, it's good practice to update your system drivers, especially graphical drivers. This can significantly affect the performance of software like Revit. You can update drivers through the device manager in Windows or by visiting your hardware manufacturer's website for the latest version. Let's make sure you have administrative rights on your computer. This is required for installing new software and making changes to system files during the installation process. Once you have confirmed these elements, including the installation of Microsoft Net 8, your system should be a set for a smooth installation of Revit 2025. Let's move on to the next step of downloading the installation file. Downloading Revit 2025. Now what our system are prepared and ready to, let's go through the process of downloading Autodesk Revit 2025. First open your browser and in the search engine type the keywords Autodesk Education. From the search results, select the official Autodesk page link to education content. This is important as it will ensure you are accessing the authentic site and the correct version of the software tailored for educational purpose, if that's relevant for your situation. Once you are on Autodesk education page, if you are not already logged in, you will need to sign in using your Autodesk account. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one using your education institution email, which will be beneficial when you request education access. After creating your ac account, you need to fill in an education approval form to verify your student status. This account is crucial as it not only allows you to download software, but also manage your license and access closer uh, to your service. If you are not a student, you can still try out the program by activating the trial version for 30 days. Click your profile image and select trials. From your account section, then click start trial 
the Autodesk page will switch to the page with all trials available. But let's jump back to the education version. After you will uh, fill in the form, Autodesk should bring you back to the program list page. Here you can look for the software you want to download. Let's locate Revit, click Get Product and New button will allow you to select an operating system version and language. Select Windows 2025 version and English. You can directly click Install, but I recommend click on the Expand symbol and selecting from the list the download option. The platform will begin the download process and will ask you to select a Save As location. This allows you to decide which location to save a large 10.3 GB installation 7Z archive file. For the browser, I use Windows Edge browser because it is integrated with Microsoft 365 products, which are quite popular among education institutions and in business, so I recommend using Edge browser. Autodesk also recommends Chrome, Edge, Firefox. After the download process is finished, go to the download folder and unzip the archive. I recommend using the open source tool 7-zip for this task. And that's it for downloading. Once the download is complete, you are ready to move on the installation Revit 2025, uh, which we will cover in our next section. Stay tuned! Installation process You have successfully downloaded and extracted Revit 2025 and now you are moving on to the exciting part, installing it on your system. This process will take a few minutes, but I will guide you through each step to make sure everything goes smoothly. First, locate the extracted installation file on your computer. It should be in the folder where you saved the 10.3 GB 7Z archive file. Unless you choose a specific location, remember to follow drive space because now we have 20.4 GB uh, with the zip and extracted data. If you are low on space, you can delete this 7Z file Inside the extracted folder, you should look for the setup.x file if you are using a Windows machine. Double click on this file to start the installation process. You will be prompted by Windows to confirm what you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Click yes to continue. This launches the Autodesk installer, which will guide you through the installation. The first screen you will see is Autodesk license and service agreement. Take a moment to read through the agreement, then select the checkbox to access the terms and click next to the process. Now you will choose the type of installation. You can select install for standard installation with default settings, which is recommended for most users. If you need to customize the installation, such as changing the installation location or selecting specific components of Revit to install, choose custom installation. For this tutorial, I will go through the standard installation. Click install and installer will begin up unpacking the file and installing the them on your system. This part of the process can take some time. Depending on your system's specifications and performance, you will see a progress bar showing the status of the installation. During installation, make sure your computer stays on and you do not close the installer window. In inter Eruption can corrupt the installation and you might need to start over. Once installation is complete, you will see a final screen. 
indicating what Revit 2025 has been installed successfully. Uh, you might be prompted to restart your computer to complete the setup. Go ahead and restart to ensure what uh, all new settings take effect promptly. And that's it. You now have Autodesk Revit installed on your computer. In the next section I will show you how to activate your product and start setting up your workspace. Pause installation setup. Revit 2025 is installed and now it's time to get everything set up so you can start using it efficiently. Let's walk through the initial steps you need to take after installation. First, let's launch Revit. You can find it either on your desktop as a shortcut or in the start menu under Autodesk. When you open Revit for the first time, you might see a welcome screen uh, where you can choose your workspace layout. If you are familiar with previous version, you might prefer the classic workspace, but I recommend trying out the new workspace designed for Revit 2025. It's optimized for better productivity. Next, we need to activate your Revit 2025 license. Upon launching, you might be prompted to log in your Autodesk account if you haven't done so during installation. This is where your license is verified. Make sure you are connected to the internet and log in with account details you used to obtain Revit. Once you logged in, your license will be automatically activated and you should receive a confirmation what Revit is ready to use. Now let's do a quick run through of the settings to ensure they are tailored to your needs. Go to the options then menu which you can find under the application menu in the top left corner. Here you can adjust settings like graphics, user interface and file locations. It's worth taking the time to adjust these to your liking. Uh, as we can enhance your workflow efficiency. Lastly, check for any updates. Autodesk frequently releases updates to improve functionality and fix bugs. Go back to the application menu, select check for updates and install any what are available. This ensures you are working with the most up-to-date version of Revit. That's it! Your Revit 2025 is now set up and ready for you to start creating. Let's move on to tra troubleshooting any common issues you might face. Troubleshooting common installation issues. Now what you have installed out of the Revit 2025, you might en encounter a few hiccups. Don't worry, it's common with any software installation and I am here to help you through some typical issues and how to, to solve them quickly. First up, if you are seeing an error what says installation failed, it's important to check if your system meets all the necessary requirements. Revit 2025 needs specific settings regarding your operating system, CPU, RAM and graphical capabilities. Double check these on the Autodesk website and compare them with your system specifics. If your system is below the requirements, uh, the software may not install properly. Another common issue could be related to insufficient user permissions. Make sure you are running the installation as an administrator. Right click on the installation file and select run as administrator from the context menu. This gives the installation the necessary permissions to make changes to your system and can often bypass the access denied type of errors. If the installation process hangs or freezes, it could be due to background process inter interfering with the installation. I recommend closing all unnecessary applications during the installation Additionally, temporarily disable your 
antivirus software as this can sometimes block certain aspects of the installation process. Just remember to turn it back on once you are done. Encountering issues with slow installation speeds. This could be due to internet connectivity during the download and initial uh, setup. Make sure you are having a stable and fast internet connection if you are on Wi-Fi and experiencing issues. Try switching to wired connection to increase stability and speed. Lastly, if you see any errors, codes, take notes of them. Autodesk support website has a fantastic section where you can enter the error code and get specific help related to these issues. It's an excellent resource for troubleshooting. That's all for troubleshooting common installation issues. With these tips, you should be able to solve most problems and get started with Revit 2025. Conclusion Thanks for following along with me, Bim Etty, as we installed Autodesk Revit 2025 together. Now what you are set up and ready to get go, you are on your way to creating amazing projects with one of the most powerful tools in the industry. Remember, if you encounter any issues along the way, Autodesk support and a vast community of users are just a click away to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials to help you become a Revit Pro. Happy modeling and I will see you in the next video call to action. Thanks for tuning in with Bim Ete. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Revit tutorials and tips. Have any questions or want to see more content on specific functions or features? Drop a comment below. I love to hear from you. See you in the next video and happy designing!